I know that everyone wanted to kind of kick off with what's going on with Vanderpump Rules because there's a huge reunion secret that is being put out there. Now, Alex Baskin, who is one of the... Oh, we're just jumping right into it, huh, Jay? Alex Baskin. Alex Baskin is one of the executive producers who stepped away from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. He is huge when it comes to Evolution Media. He still oversees Vanderpump Rules. Yes. And he went on and he did this like live talk situation, sort of like what we did for Spilling Tea or like Page Six does with virtual reality. And he did it with Lisa Vanderpump. And he said that there is something that will be coming out during the third part of the reunion. And when this comes out, all of the cast, they have their contracts now, but he's telling them not to sign it until this information comes out because they might not want to come back. You had an interesting take on this, but before we get to all of that, I just want to share what Lisa said, because people were speculating that it was Lisa knowing about the affair before it came out. She said, okay, so no, I didn't know until a minute before you all did. I wish I would have, though. And she said she knows what it is, and it ain't this. Hmm. Hmm. And wasn't, like, Raquel supposed to have said something that she knew at Sir back in, like, like a long time ago. Did someone say that? I don't know. And anyways, we're not believing anything Raquel or Tom have to say anyway. But um, I don't know what this could be. I honestly don't. I think we're actually going to find out right before the reunion. Um, stay I'm... tuned, especially if you're a member. But I, I don't know what it could be. You know, with with pump closing, my, my kind of intuition is that Elisa is pretty much like just... I mean, I think she's been done with Vanderpump Rules for a minute. But here is such a great opportunity to move the show somewhere, okay? Because she does have two big restaurants opening in Vegas. She already has two. Maybe part of opening those two restaurants would be to do something with Vanderpump Rules. There also has been rumors going around that most of the, the people who work at Schwartz and Sandy's are being kind of scouted for Vanderpump Rules. Now, we talked about how Schwartz and Sandy's was supposed to get a spinoff. And then because season 10 before Scannaball was looking so good, they decided not to, right? Right. So I don't know what it could be. Well, really but don't. then also, I don't think that the thing is, is it's a 30 minute flight to and from Las Vegas. So I don't think like Lisa only films with the Vanderpump Rules cast for about three months out of the year. I don't think that it would be her leaving and her shots are so minimal that I feel like they could still have their lives and her fly in and out and film a few scenes. So I don't feel mm. like it's that. The only other thing that I could possibly think, because this came out from a cast member at the reunion, none of the cast knows yet. So it means that it had to have been a special one-on-one -on -one with Tom Sandoval or Raquel, because Ariana said that she doesn't know. She thinks she knows, and she thinks that it's not as big as everyone's making it out to be. But Which I'm wondering... the usual when it comes to Bravo. Right, which is the usual when it comes to Bravo. But I'm wondering, do you think that potentially Raquel and Tom Sandoval hooked up while she was still with James? Like, could that have been it? But then why would Sheena and the rest of the cast want to quit? Um, yeah, it, it's such a, that's the thing. It's like, what is the thing that would make the cast question, should I sign this contract? Right. That's, that's what I'm speculating. And that's why I kind of see a move because Vanderpump Rules has become a show uh, uh, kind of without Lisa, if, if you think about it, right? And maybe this is an opportunity to to have maybe even a spinoff or something where you bring her back into the center. You're working for her again at her restaurants, you know, kind of where it all started. I mean, is it because they're going to bring back some other people? Yeah. Like, do we have Jackson Brittany coming back? Is it a possibility Billy Lee is coming back? Is it a possibility that someone is coming back into the cast that people won't want to film with? So... Maybe that's don't sign the contract, because if you sign the contract, you're going to have to show up to film and these people will be a part of it. Yeah. I Is mean, that a possibility? It could be. Also, um, Annika said that she believes that it was going to to Vegas, too. Deborah, interesting. Hi, Adam and Jason. Did anyone notice the one on ones were filmed the day before the reunion, which was also the same day as Rachel doing her stage TMZ interview? Hmm. No, I didn't Most notice things. that. But we'll have to wait and see what it is, honestly. I mean, I'm sure, obviously, it's going to come out. But another thing that I wanted to kind of talk about for a second was Tom Sandoval. So TMC came out with this this morning because Tom Sandoval was on his way to Pittsburgh while he was on the phone, and he was just minding his own business sitting on a plane. He's eating his beef jerky. He has his Coke there, his 
cheddar, sun chips. He's he just, literally like, looks like a sophomore in high school right here. Like, dude, grow up. He's just minding his own business. We can obviously tell it's him with the white nails, but this passenger said that I was just minding my own business and I happened to right. catch a photo of Tom Sandoval. And then when I zoomed in, I saw it was Raquel. Well, first of all, if you're minding your own business, you don't just happen to catch a random photo of somebody and then it just happens to be Tom Sandoval. Your luck is not that great. And then secondly, if you were minding your own business, why did you leak this photo to TMZ? That makes no sense. And well, thirdly, if Raquel is in fact away at a mental health facility, somebody on TikTok said that she gets 30 minutes a day on the phone. I don't think she gets her own personal cell phone. I, it's just, I don't know. I, first of all, why don't you have a privacy screen on your iPhone? Any celebrity, even Sheena, has a nice privacy screen where you can't really take a photo of who you're talking to. Like, get it together, first of all. And then second of all, Max even just said in the live chat, Scandival, or <laughs> Scandival, Sandoval planned this. I mean, that could be very possible because I would play this out for as long as I could. And even Dave said on your live last week, you know, play it out. Get get any kind of money. And speaking of getting money, Ariana, I think, has made close to a million dollars since Scandival came out. Oh, my gosh. Can we talk about this for just one second? Because yeah. Ariana is out here winning. These are two totally different situations right now. This was another article that came out from Daily Mail saying that, well, not only is the show doing absolutely incredible right now, but Ariana right now has apparently made over a million dollars from all of the sponsorship opportunities that have come out wow. of Scandival. Wow. I mean, much deserved, right? I mean, if you're going to be in that position like she was and you're going to be the one who is, you know, taken by surprise and, and hurt, like, go make your money, girl. Do it. Because we're all here cheering for her to win. I just want to show you really quick to um, guys, 400 in the room. Wow. Hi, everyone. Hey, Good guys. morning. This came out from Daily Mail, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea. They're showing um, Ariana has already gained an extra 500,000 followers on Instagram in the last two months, and brands are now beating down her door. Her first post scandal deal was an Instagram giveaway with the sex toy company that probably got her around $25,000. Then they keep on going through, and they say a deal with Bloomingdale's was around $25,000 plus $10,000 in clothes, Uber yeah, Eats and so SoFi deal. The SoFi deal they're saying was probably about a hundred thousand dollars. Wow, this I mean, is crazy. She's see for the deal. Industry experts predict that the reality star may have walked away with as much as a hundred thousand dollars, and this was the SoFi deal. Um, talking about how the whole her moving boxes was a publicity stunt. Mm, mm -hmm. I, I mean, next season on Dancing with the Stars, pocket another hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars right here. Wow. Um. The this is, I mean, and, and here's the thing. Now this cast has a season 11. It has a season 12. So at the end of the day, now that people have moved on, now that everything is simmering, well, it's not because we still have two more parts of the reunion and some kind of secret surprise we're all waiting for. But everyone has won for the, from this, except Tom and Raquel, unless they live happily ever after and get married and have babies and get a house. Like, okay, then maybe you win too. But it's, it's not kind looking of like that. I mean, honestly, it's kind of crazy, too, because here they're saying right here, too, that she's making around 500000 per season, and she's still earning around 50000 for appearances. As they're going through it, and she remind like, remember, she made almost $200,000, her and Katie, on the Something About Her merch, which yes. obviously is going back into the restaurant, so they're killing it with that. Plus, all of these appearances, she's making a shit ton of money. So with that, I almost wonder, like, if I were... If I were Ariana, I would take the money that I'm getting from that plus the money, my portion of the money out of the house, and I would immediately just go buy another house. Like right now, I would go yeah. get the house. Yeah. Right? Get a, yeah. Get a lawyer to help you get out of that other house too.